Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. No, I haven't made a video in a while. Well, didn't pay the storage rent and didn't have the money to buy magnets. I've been kind of fighting the economy and the way things are going. And Murphy's Law. And a little bit of midterm burnout. Anyway, we uh, took the uh, rear magnet rotor off the back of this thing and did another test. It's just kind of sitting there cruising along. It starts up real easy and I've got it wired back in Delta. The voltage is pretty close to what it was on Delta except it takes a little bit more wind to uh, get to charging voltage. Well, my idea is to leave it in star and put the second magnet rotor on there and go ahead and put a uh, seven or eight foot prop on it which means it's going to get the wattage out of it real easy and I'll have to have it furl a little bit earlier which means I'll be getting more power in the lower winds. So that's uh, my solution on this right now. Anyway, yep, we paid the storage off. Still haven't got the money for the magnets for the second revision. Well, Boomer came by and gave me some toys. And there's a 100 foot of 12 gauge extension cord. So that's going to work out real nice. That gives me a lot of options. And brought me by some more toys. And all the old nuts and bolts in the shop. And a an couple inner tubes for some experiments and cutting and making rubber washers and seals. But anyway, as you can see, the shop is all cluttered up again. It's going to need another clean out. And I've got another development. I'm winding some coils for another company. And I can't tell you how many turns or all that, but I... I I think I can show you what the coils look like when I'm done, but for now, uh, can't do much more. And I'll be getting back on the experimenting on this. If you notice the wind turbine is turning, uh, the wind turbine is cranking the uh, voltage up and making the charge controller kick, so it's still doing good. But I'm not getting but about two or three amps out of it with the one rotor, it's not very efficient. And just to show you. I'll take this off and I'm going to put this right to the, this is the positive, I'm going to stick it right to the negative here, which shorts the wind turbine out. Doesn't quite stop it completely, it slows it down, which tells me that it's not really all that efficient with the one magnet rotor. Does okay, we'll put that back up there for now. As you can see, it's there's my amperage right now. And take a quick look up here. And like I said, we didn't have much wind. It's going to take a bit to get her started back up. Not quite as good as I want. So, yeah, the second magnet rotor, which is right up there. We'll go, be going back on it. And I'm going to paint the uh, prop white because it's real hard to see it as I drive by to see if it's actually producing power. Anyway, uh, we will be putting out some more videos and... I had to take a break from YouTube and go out there. I got this habit of eating every day. And YouTube doesn't pay the bills, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Glad to be back and you'll be seeing more videos. It's cooling off and basically, uh, you look over there, you'll see my truck, trailer, zero turn, a weed eater on the side, another mower on the back. I've got that solar panel on top. It's been doing a lot better on gas mileage with it. Here we go, zoom in up on it. You can see the solar panel on top. It's pretty streamlined. I don't think it takes uh, get from the, I don't think the wind resistance that's on it really hurts the gas mileage at all. But it really does keep that battery charged up. And because of that, the alternator doesn't have to work. It gives me one third more gas mileage and one third more power, which to me is like two thirds value. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours, and thank you for being so patient. Well, before I go, it seemed the wind picked up, but by the time I got my camera, the wind died back down. Yep, sure slowed right on down. I kind of count that as uh, just the luck of running over there and grabbing the camera. I'm running kind of slow. Anyway. There you go, it starts to pick up pretty quick once the wind picks up up there. Well, there we go. Showing over there about one and two amps. 
jumping up and down. You could hear the charge controller kicking. And the wind picked up just a little bit. That's what I'm saying. I was, uh, before I was getting like 5 and 6 amps. Well, there she is, all nice and pretty. Zoom in on her. You can hear them blades a little bit. And that nut on the front got a little bit loose again. Heard the charge controller go off one more time. Oh yeah, it's pretty. I think I like the white blades. I'm gonna, either I might just paint a stripe down it, completely down the blade. Make it show up so I can see it as I drive by at night and put my LED back out here. Haven't had much wind lately. I just got lucky came down here when Boomer called and showed up and visited for just a couple hours. And Oh yeah, one other thing. I've been doing a radio show on ShazizRadio.com. I come on at uh, Thursday night, right, actually uh, Friday morning, right at 12 o'clock a.m. till about 3. And then uh, Saturday morning, I come on about 6 o'clock to about 8 o'clock and then Shaziz Mad Science start. And I don't do one on Sunday, uh, but Shaziz does on uh, 8 o'clock up, uh, up to about 11 o'clock. So he's got a three hour show there and that's uh, Knights of the Round Table. And in all we basically talk and try to find solutions to things around the world. I've got uh, shoutitfromthemountain24 at gmail.com shout it from the mountain 24 at gmail.com if you've got something that you would like to say to the whole world a message of peace a message of love uh something you know like i don't know you you don't know me i don't hate you i don't hate your kids i don't want to blow your kids up you don't want to blow my kids up we don't need another war or if you just want you know whatever you'd like to shout out to the world and just go ahead and type it in there leave an mp3 or a link on your uh, to your YouTube uh, video, and we'll make an MP3 and we'll put it out there. It's shout it from the mountain24 at gmail.com on shazizradio.com on the Shaziz Radio Network. We've got a few other networks that pick us up from here and there. Sometimes No Border Radio, Awake Radio, and a few others. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies many good things to you and yours. Oh, the time that I was saying is Central Daylight Time, CDT, because I'm in Texas. Many good things to you and yours. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. I would just give you a little shot at uh, my first attempt at a anemometer. That's all ping pong balls and a few drops of super glue. Top half of the middle is a half of a, uh, well, I cut two of the balls in half. I did one of the halves, I put it on top of the center one. Make it just a little bit stronger. And the other three halves, I stuck around the outside. And made a nice little photo, uh, mirror ornament here. The wind catches it, that thing hauls. But I got the other one at the house. And uh, that's the one I'm going to use at the shop. Anyway, I'm heading over to Cluggy's house. See you in a minute.